let's start the discussion on material cost variance material cost variance is the difference between standard material cost and actual material cost now standard material cost is the cost that was supposed to be incurred and actual material cost is the cost that we have actually incurred the difference between standard and actual is called variance a variance can be either adverse to the organization or it can be favorable to the organization when my standard material cost was less but the actual material cost is more then that there is an adverse variance at the same time when the standard material cost is more whereas actual material cost is less then there is a saving we call it as favorable variance now coming to the material cost variance this is due to two reasons one quantity the other price some of the books use the term rate for this variance now what am i talking about here if there is an increase or decrease in the material cost it can be either because of the fact that we have consumed more quantity or we have paid more price now the quantity increase can be because of two reasons further one is called yield in simple yield means the ability of raw material to generate the output the second one can be because of incorrect mix that we do and this is applicable only when you have more than one raw material in the process obviously the name is mix variance there cannot be a mix variance when i have single raw material now i quickly repeat the material cost variance can be because of two reasons one i consume more quantity than necessary or i pay more price than what i initially expected now the additional quantity consumption can be because of the fact that the raw material was of bad quality we call it as yield variance or two raw materials of good quality were mixed in incorrect ratio that can also be a reason for a quantity variance now how do i calculate standard material cost standard material cost is the standard quantity multiplied by standard price and in simple how do i calculate the actual material cost it is actual quantity into actual price the difference between these two will be my material cost variance how do i calculate let's take an example standard material cost is 100 rupees that came by 10 kg into 10 rupees 10 kg was standard quantity and 10 rupees was standard price but my actual material cost let's say 11 kg into 12 rupees this is coming to 132 rupees i repeat for a process we expected that we will be consuming 10 kgs and we will be paying 10 rupees per kg so the standard cost was 100 whereas actually we consumed 11 kgs at 12 rupees the cost ended up to be 132 now there is a 32 rupee additional cost and now this is extra cost so i name it as adverse variance and i had already explained when the actual cost is more standard cost is less the variance is called adverse variance when the actual cost is much less than the expected standard cost such variance will be called favorable variance in this example my standard cost is 100 actual cost is 132 so there is a difference of 32 rupee i have paid excess of 130 of 32 rupee therefore i call it as adverse variance now what is that we are going to learn in this session is this 32 rupees 
only because of quantity is it only because of price or is it because of quantity as well as price if i compare the numbers here i expected it to be just 10 kgs whereas i have actually consumed 11 kgs that means i have consumed 1 kg more that means out of 32 i am sure some impact is because of the quantity at the same time this was supposed to be just 10 rupees but i have paid 12 rupees that means now i also know out of this 32 there is something because of price as well now how do i understand how do i identify out of 32 how much is due to quantity and how much is due to price that is your standard costing and variance analysis now we know that there is a variance of 32 rupee we need to analyze whether it's because of quantity or because of price or whether it's a combination of both quantity and price now one side i have standard material cost on the other side i have actual material cost standard material cost was standard quantity into standard price actual material cost is your actual quantity into actual price in my example it was 10 kgs into 10 rupees and my actual was 11 kg into 12 rupees now if i multiply 10 into 10 i get 100 and when i multiply 11 into 12 i get 132 if i just compare 100 with 132 getting 32 adverse is obvious this is already explained to you here but then what is that we are going to learn new now out of this 32 i want to know how much is because of quantity and how much is because of price to identify the variance because of quantity what do i do i keep the standard price constant and change it to actual quantity let's name this as column 1 this is column 2 and this as column 3 now if i keep 11 kg here the actual quantity and i substitute the standard price of 10 i get to know this should have been 110 now what is the meaning of these three numbers this is my standard quantity at standard price this is my actual quantity at actual price here just to identify the variance only because of quantity i just changed my quantity from sq to aq i have kept the price the same so whatever is the difference that i get here is only because of quantity because i have kept the price same now if i compare column 2 and column 3 you can observe i have kept the quantity same and i have changed the standard price to actual price so whatever difference here i get will be only because of price the difference here is 22 adverse if this difference is only because of quantity this i can call it as quantity variance and if this difference is only because of price i can call this as my price variance now because of this table i am in a position to analyze how much is because of quantity and how much is because of price therefore out of 32 10 is because of quantity this is adverse and 22 is because of price even this is adverse so instead of mugging up the formula we can understand this various analysis with the help of a small table like this let's put it as column 1 column 2 and column 3 my first column was standard quantity into standard price my last column was actual quantity into actual price now to find out the variance because of quantity what i did i only changed quantity instead of standard quantity i made it as actual quantity i kept the price same so i'll get a number here i'll get a number here i'll get a number here 1 minus 2 that is column 1 minus column 2 gave me quantity variance column 2 minus 3 that is this minus this 
gave me price variance and we already know 1 minus 3 which is SQ into SP and AQ into AP comparison 1 minus 3 is going to give me cost variance. Quantity variance is also called as yield variance because this was a problem of a single raw material there is no mix variance here so whatever is the yield variance will be my quantity variance this is called price variance in some of the books we call it as rate variance put together this is my material cost variance let us take one more example standard cost was 12 kg at 10 rupees 120 but actual cost is only 9 kg into 9 rupees that is 81. Let us now try and calculate material cost variance because of quantity and because of price. What was my column 1? Standard quantity into standard price. What was my last column? Actual quantity into actual price. What was my second column? Actual quantity into standard price. So how much is SQ in my example? 12 kgs. How much is SP in my example? 10 rupees. How much is AQ in my example? 9 kgs into SP is 10 rupees. And AQ is 9 and actual price is also 9. So now this is 120. This will be 90 and this will be 81. And tell me what should I do? 1 minus 2 that is 120 minus 90 is a positive number that means it's a favorable variance. Column 2 minus column 3 will be 90 minus 81 that is 9 that's also a favorable number. And when I take combination that is column 1 minus column 3 that will be 120 minus 81 which is 39 favorable why is it favorable in this case my standard cost was 120 whereas my actual cost is just 81 that means i have saved 39 rupee now i know out of 39 30 rupee is because of quantity and 9 rupees is because of price let us now work out a problem with two raw materials as i've already told you when you have single raw material material yield variance itself will be called quantity variance but now I have two raw materials so there is a possibility of one more variance which is because of inaccurate improper mix of raw materials I call it as material mix variance in my previous examples I had only two variances yield variance and price variance for two variances I had three columns but now that I have more than one raw material, I will have three variances. First is yield variance, then the mix variance and then the price variance. Now for two variances, if I have three columns, for three variance, obviously I'll have four columns. Let's try and understand. It says standard material cost is 10 kg at 6 rupees and 20 kg at 5 rupees. As you can notice here, you have two raw materials. Actual material cost is 11 kg at 5 rupees and 16 kg at 4 rupees. My table will have 4 columns. Column 1 as you know standard quantity into standard price and column 4 is actual quantity into actual price. Now I have added 2 columns in between column 2 and column 3. This is RSQ into SP and next one is AQ into SP. You can observe here column 1, column 2 and column 3 I have kept my price constant standard price, standard price and standard price that means in column 1, 2 and 3 I am not trying to find out variance because of price I am trying to find out variance because of quantity. Now quantity variance in this problem will be 2 first is yield variance then is mix variance. Last column is AQ into AP Obviously, this is actual material cost and first column SQ into SP is my standard material cost which means if I compare column 1 with column 4, I should be getting the total material cost variance. 
that is here 1 minus 2 will give me material cost variance. Now column 1 minus 2 as usual will give me yield variance, column 2 minus column 3 will now give me mix variance, column 3 and column 4 is going to give me price variance. Let us put the numbers. Standard quantities 10 into 6, 20 into 5 this will come to 160. Let us leave column 2 aside for a minute. Column 3 actual quantity into standard price that is 11 kg at 6 rupee and 16 kg at 5 rupee that is coming to 146. Column 4 actual quantity I have here 11 and 16 and then actual price I have here 5 and 4. Now all that I need is column 2. In column 2 also standard price I already know which is 6 and 5. That means the only thing left out is RSQ. RSQ is revised standard quantity. How do I calculate revised standard quantity? It is actual quantity total distributed in standard quantity ratio. Here you can see I have consumed 11 plus 16 total 27 kgs. Now, have I consumed this 27 kg in the right proportion? That is what is called RSQ. I have consumed 27 kg. In what ratio I should have consumed 27 kg? It says SQ ratio. SQ ratio is 10 is to 20 which is nothing but 1 is to 2. I should have consumed 10 plus 20, 30 kgs. But I have actually consumed only 27 kgs. Now I am trying to calculate whether the 27 kg in total is consumed in the correct ratio. So when I distribute 27 in the ratio of 1 is to 2, I get 9 kg and 18 kg which I am copying here 9 and 18. Now you multiply and add all these numbers, you get 160, 144, 146 and 119. 1 minus 2 that is 160 minus 144 I am getting 16 favorable, 2 minus 3 that is 144 minus 146 I am getting a negative number so it should be 2 adverse and column 3 minus 4 is 146 and 119 I am getting 27 positive which is a favorable number. So if I do 16 minus 2 plus 27 I get 41 favorable. Now 160 was standard cost, 119 is actual cost. If I do 160 minus 119 also, I will directly get 41 which means the purpose of this table is not to calculate 41 but to calculate out of 41 how much is because of yield, how much is because of mix and how much is because of price. Let us quickly summarize. If the question is for single raw material then I have only two variances so I need three columns. Column 1 SQ, column 2 AQ, last column is also AQ. Last column is multiplied by AP, other two columns are multiplied by SP and SP. 1 minus 2 will give me yield variance and 2 minus 3 will give me price variance. Yield plus price itself is my material cost variance. But if the question has more than one raw material, say 2 materials, 3 materials, 5 materials, and 10 raw materials, then I will have one more variance called material mix variance. Now when I have 3 variances, I need 4 columns. First column is SQ, next RSQ, AQ and AQ. Last column is multiplied by actual price, all other columns are multiplied by standard price. Now 1 minus 2 will give me yield variance. 2 minus 3 will give me mix variance. If I combine these two that is quantity variance and last one is 3 minus 4 that will give me price variance. RSQ important thing RSQ is revised standard quantity which is actual quantity total distributed in standard quantity ratio. 